Stein and I'm a third grade teacher at Klondike Elementary and today I'm going to be showing you how to solve a multiplication problem using different strategies to get the same answer. So we're going to be solving the problem three times four and the first way we're going to do it is by a model. So if you think of it as three, uh, three groups and four in each group. So for the first number would be the number of groups so I would draw three groups. And the second number tells you how many are in each group. So I'm going to put four in each group. And to get the answer, you just count them all up. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that shows you that three times four equals twelve using the model. Another way you can do it is repeated addition. So I'm going to take this number three and I'm going to draw three spaces and I'm going to add four together three times. So I draw my three spaces and then I fill these in with my other number as four and I can do four plus four is eight plus four more is also twelve. And you want to make sure you're getting the same answer throughout all of the um, different strategies to make sure that you are solving it correctly. Another strategy you can use is the number line and skip counting and an important thing on the number line is you want to make sure that all your spaces are equal and e um, evenly spaced on the number line and as you go through just make sure your numbers go right underneath your lines. And then what you do instead of drawing groups I would say I have three jumps and they're each going to be four spaces. So instead of three groups, I now have three jumps and there's still going to be four in each jump. So I always start at zero, so I'm going to make a point at zero. And then I would jump four, so I would go one, two, three, four, and make another mark. And then that would be my first jump. And I need to do that three times. So now that you've made your first jump, you want to make three jumps and they're each going to be still four spaces. So that's my first jump and then I'm going to count four more again. One, two, three, four and I'm going to make a mark and I draw the jump and that's my second jump but I still need to make three jumps so I'm going to do another one and that would be my third jump and this one also shows that the answer would be 12. The last strategy is in a, an array and with arrays, we would do three rows of four. So here we do three groups, three jumps, three spaces, and now we're gonna do three rows. So if I draw three rows, going this way, one, two, three, and I'm gonna have four in each row. So this is number one in the first row. and I'm gonna put four in each row. And then if you go back and count them, you should have 12 as well. So then we know by all four of the strategies that the answer to three times four is 12.